forms and ideas, justice and government, poetry, and doctrines about the soul are the main ideas of the Republic. According to Plato, everything people apprehend through their senses in the visible world is a copy of an ideal form, one that exists only in the intelligible world, or the world the intellect can understand, but the senses cannot perceive. Thus, a table, no matter what it's made of or how solid or substantial it may seem, is not part of essential reality. It's only a copy of the ideal form of the table. The doctrine of forms or ideas is also intertwined with Plato's critique of mimesis, imitation, which plays a major role in his rejection of poetry in the ideal state. Justice and government are main ideas Socrates argues about again and again. Justice is essentially a social condition involving the balance and harmony among the three classes in the ideal state, guardians, auxiliaries, and workers, and the balance and harmony within the individual of the three parts of the soul, rational, spirited, and appetitive. Socrates believes only the leadership of the truly wise and virtuous will make possible an orderly, harmonious society. And in Book 8 and the beginning of Book 9, Socrates discusses in detail four forms of government he considers flawed. Democracy, government offices are held by people of property. Oligarchy, government by the few. Democracy, government by the people. And tyranny, government by a single ruler with absolute power. Poetry is a famous main idea Socrates launches into two elaborate critiques of in the Republic. Socrates claims lies falsify the behavior of gods and heroes in Greek epics and tragedies, portraying them as guilty of vices and violent actions. Thus, poetry provides morally objectionable models, especially to young people. In Book 10, Socrates claims that poetry is at three removes from reality. The only poetry that should be allowed in the ideal state are hymns to the gods and the praises of famous men. Doctrines about the soul is a final main idea. The human soul is immortal and consists of three parts, reason, the soul's desire for honor, and the quest for sensual appetites, from highest to lowest. Plato portrays certain aspects of the soul's immortality in the myth of Ur in Book 10. It's moral, the choices we make in this life will have momentous consequences.